Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this event, Last FM, HP, Bills. We're playing with a baby drum kit today. The midget. My album came out this year in May. It got a lot of props, which I was really happy about. Um, and yeah, I was a bit weirded out by the fact that I was having an album out, really. That's kind of what cemented my, and solidified like my perception of this being a career. It wasn't until I saw my album in the, in the shops where I really thought, shit, I'm actually, this is my, this is my job now. But it still doesn't feel like a job because I'm having so much fun. I won't be consumed like your heart Chew me up, spit me out, swell up by the gob No, the gob can't touch me now Most brain lies like the fat and the youth A basis on truth, the thought the view And would I be here if she kept my cue? A young teen father, searching for a miracle A falling star, a whooping star But give me pretty digitized signs when it lies so pitiful I think it's really important for people to be hearing my album through like proper speakers. Well, I've seen a lot of people walking around with the headphones, like you know, the big headphones that you've got on right now. That makes me happy just because, you know, about 10 years ago, a lot of kids would be ashamed to be walking around with headphones like that because it might not be, you know, cool for them to be doing that. But it seems now like more people are just more interested in the clarity of sound, which is great. I think it's really important that yeah, people listen to my album on proper speakers. <laughs> Crystal tears roll down my left cheek. I'm spitting this in bold type, so let the ink bleed. Let the text breathe. I'm stress express grief. I can't suppress beef and climb steps to beast. Cause I sex the beast, cause I sex the beast. Beneath the sheets, I hug yard to see. Now I'm feeling like a lost soul. Lost in love, cause I can't let go. No. She's grinding tears on the journey of my mind. She's sailing on the origami boat, the beast dying, a river so pure. Always on the lookout for new bands, but just in different ways, I guess. It got me through a lot of deadlines, Last FM. You know, just listen to one band that I really like, and then we should just feed into other bands that I haven't really heard of before and discover a new way. So I guess, yeah, that was another way I used to discover new music as well through Last FM. So shamelessly, what if that dame was me and she was I uh, trying to block the brain with a palm to the sky? Would she stop for a second? Would she drop a fiver? Would she bat an eyelid or even crack a smile? The proudest moment I've had in my career so far is literally just seeing my, my first ever vinyl, which is Shapeshift. It was just a 300 um, limited edition press. I went into rough trade and just saw it on the shelves and I was so happy. That's what I've been dreaming about for such a long time. Then it's back, back, back to when I used to shape shift and shift rap back. Before I picked up the mic and started writing frames, I could open my form at any given time. Shape, shift, shape, shift, shape, 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 shift, shape, shape, shift, shape, shift, shape, shift, shape, shape, shift, shift, shape, shift. I played at um, Hobson Bar and Grill for my album launch and like, my mother was there, my dad was there. This is the first time I've ever seen me perform this year. I've been hiding that away from him for years. They haven't really seen the growth, like how things have been growing over the last few years. So um, yeah, for them it was really like an emotional experience and for me as well, just because like, my sister was there and everything like that and my brothers. <laughs> my mum thought it was really weird but she really enjoyed it, but um, my dad was really, really into it. Yeah, he loved it a lot. Thank you.